This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, November 17th, 2009. Today on the show, we will honor the performance of the week. It was a tough choice given all the world records that have gone down at the recent World Cup meets. But before we get to that, we have a Morning Swim Show first-timer. University of Georgia freshman Andrew Gemmel is one of the nominees for this Sunday's Golden Goggles Awards. And he joins us on Skype right now from Athens, Georgia. Andrew, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. All right, well, thanks for having me. Must be pretty cool to get nominated for the big award, big uh, yeah, award show. It's yeah, it's a great honor. Um, I didn't really expect it, didn't really think about it, but uh, when I found out, it was, it was definitely exciting. And this is for your performance in the 10K Open Water Swim in Rome. You got the silver medal. Was that, uh, was that surprising to you? I mean, you, do you have a ton of open water experience? Um, I've been doing it for the last couple of years, getting some experience, which is really important for the sport. And um, I went into the meet with high expectations. Uh, I trained really well the past year, and I definitely thought I could medal there. All right, uh, so the breakout performance of the year is the category. It is you, Tyler Clary, Eric Shanto, and Casey Carlson. Uh, what would be the odds of you winning that? Oh, I don't know. I mean, we've all, they all, they all had great seasons as well. Um, you know, all winning medals in Rome, all doing some pretty amazing things. I mean, 25% of the four of us, right? <laughs> Make about even. Do, do you think there's a favorite or, or no? I mean, maybe Eric with just all he's been through and what a great story he is and how much he's had to overcome as the, the popular name. But, I mean, I think we've all had great years. Uh, how you like in college? Um, it's been great so far. Uh, class has been good. Swimming's been, uh, swimming's been pretty great. I'm really liking the training. It's been great to have some yeah, new people to swim with and train with so it's been a great experience so far who do you share a lane with when you train there because you guys have a pretty prolific distance program at georgia yeah um usually we're lucky we can manage to get our own lane for the distance group but um i'll usually be next to troy most of the time if i can work that out uh troy uh bill krieger you know peter benner we all try and you know we do some pretty good stuff together nice. you know, there, are lots of, there are lots of other people there too i don't want to just take out you know a few people but is uh is training with those guys uh pretty intense? Oh, definitely. Um it's been new new for me cuz I came from a, a club team where I didn't really have anyone to go at it with on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you know, having these people to push me every day has been great and it really is it's every day, it's every morning, it's every afternoon. It's, you know, whatever whatever Harvey or Jack asks of us, we're always pushing each other. Now, will you actually make it to the Golden Goggles this Sunday or not going to be able to attend? Uh, I won't be able to. Um, I made some plans before I actually realized that I was nominated. Um, we have a meet with Auburn, pretty big meet for us with Auburn, uh, the weekend of that, this upcoming weekend. So um, I won't be able to make it, which is kind of disappointing, but I'll be there in spirit. Oh, you can fly over there, fly right back, get, uh, get Phelps to fly you over. Yeah. Be back by Monday morning class. Yeah, we actually have, we don't have class the following Monday. Oh, you got to go, man. <laughs> Do you think you're going to regret not going? Um, maybe, but uh, hopefully there are more opportunities in the future. Very cool. Um, now, one of your open water competitors, Fran Crippen, a good guy, we've had him on the show a few times, hey, yeah. he, he's, uh, he's kind of picking it back up, and he was nominated as well. Um, what's it like swimming with him open water? Um, Fran was a huge help to me over in Rome. Uh, he's just been around the block a couple more times than I have, has more open water international experience than I have. You know, that was my first open international race. And so he was just, he was just a huge help in showing me the ropes, you know, teaching me what's what. He's a, and, um, he's a scrappy guy. I could see him throwing some elbows in an open water race. I, I think most of us are throwing elbows out there. It's a pretty scrappy sport. <laughs> Do you, can that possibly be translated into pool swimming or is it basically, uh, you, you got to realize where you are. It's a, it's a mental thing more than anything else. It's just a mental uh, approach you have to have to be ready for anything, to be, to me be mentally tough. Um, and I think that translates well in the pool. If you're, if, you're, if you're able to be tough in the pool, you can be, you can be tough in open water and is, vice versa. Is there any worry, though, that open water swimming could mess up your stroke a little bit just because of you're always fighting the conditions and maybe sometimes you, you let your technique go? I mean, is there ever worry about that? Um, we've actually found the opposite. We've found that, you know, a week or two, two or three weeks maybe after an open water race, my freestyle will be feeling really, 
really strong. Um, I don't know whether it's just you have to become efficient when you're swimming that far, that hard. But usually we'll find, you know, two weeks after an open water race, my freestyle will be, be spot on. Hmm. Well, it shows how much I know. <laughs> well, Andrew, best of luck this weekend. I know you won't be there, but, uh, hey, that'll be cool if you win. Yes, thank you. All right, congrats, and, uh, congrats on being nominated, and uh, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you. And um, I guess we're doing the what are you thankful for this week. Yeah, um, let's take a quick commercial break, and... Tell you what, we'll uh, we'll call you back. We'll we'll keep that separate from the show. Uh, so we'll end this conversation. We'll uh, we'll go to our other stuff, and then we'll call you back and do something separate. We won't uh, let people know just yet what we're planning. Okay. All right. We'll talk right, to you in a bit. You. All right. Thanks. And uh, that's Andrew Gummel joining us from the University of Georgia, and we will be right back with the performance of the week. We all remember the old game. Vitamins, water, repeat. Pfft. No thanks. Then we gave you vitamin water and changed the game. Hi, I'm Canadian celebrity Steve Nash. Yeah, that's right. Have you ever wanted to make your own flavor of vitamin water, but you didn't want to deal with the mess, the stress, the legal ramifications? Do you feel stuck in the past, wishing you had a new, futuristic Web 2.0 way to get your vitamins? Do you feel like your creativity is being suppressed by the powers that be? Like you just want to bust out and express yourself? Check it. We're going to let you, yeah, I said it, you, design your own vitamin water. Hi, I'm Curtis Jackson. I used to have to grind to get my vitamins. So I made my own flavor vitamin water. Now I'm stanky rich. You know, I smell like the vault, man. I mean, I'm so paid, man. I made this dude that nobody knew from nowhere famous. Real slumdog millionaire, man. Now he act like he don't even know me, man. Look, people, it's as easy as one, two, three. Step one, go to facebook.com forward slash vitamin water. Step two, pick your vitamins and your favorite flavor. Step three, design your bottle. Step four, get paid. No purchase access and open legal residence within the United States, D.C. or Mr. Tinder's old time match. The other resident event contest must be entered by Tony Matt. Prize awarded only for label design contest. For official rules and complete details, visit www.facebook.com slash vitamin water. Sponsor Energy Brands Incorporated doing business at Blue Why are we doing this? Are we crazy? Maybe. It is time now for the performance of the week. This was one of those weeks where we could have picked from a dozen different swimmers, but it says a lot that on a week that we saw more than 20 world records at international meets, we chose a high school swimmer from North Dakota. Dagna Knudsen's swim at her high school state championships were so impressive, not just because of the jaw-dropping times, which we'll get to in a second, but because she did them in a textile suit. Now, I know that a lot of coaches and swimmers will say that they still plan on best times in the old school suits. I personally just don't think it's going to happen for a while. Dagny is the exception. Here's what she accomplished. In the prelims of the 200 IM on Friday at the... North Dakota High School State Championships, Knudsen swam a 153.82 to erase Mary, Beckard's, Mary Beck's national high school record of 155.7. Even more astounding, Knudsen's time puts her within a second of Julia Smith's American record in the 200 IM, which was set at the NCAA Championships last March in a high-tech suit. In that same prelim session, Knudsen swam a 48.15 in the 100 free, to lower her own national high school record that she set last year leading off her relay. Auburn coaches are smiling ear to ear right now. Congratulations to Dagna, you won our Performance of the Week award. And that's it for the show today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.